Hello there everyone, I am here at the beautiful Sedona Estate Winery which is only 10 minutes down the road from Ye and we are here today to have a chat with the winemaker Paul and his wonderful wife Sonia and they're going to show us around the winery. So firstly, um, I'd love to know a little bit of history about the winery, what can you tell us? Mm, okay, so well it's now 22 years. Which, um, it's also quite surprising how time flies. Uh, so 1997 we bought it uh, from the original owner, Clive Nash, uh, and it was a cattle property back then. And I saw the potential, certainly from a viticultural point of view, north facing, gentle slope, nice soils, rainfall was just right, sunshine was great. Um, I'd even done a bit of a calculation on the hours of sunshine so that we knew what sort of reds we were going to do and we have planted it all out to reds um, and um, yeah it was, um, uh, we, that's best, thanks Cindy for your input. The, um, during the, the, the start though it was a, a weekend enterprise so we did the planting in 98 uh, and then subsequently came up on weekends and did a little bit more and got irrigation in and uh, worked the land a little bit, uh, got the driveway in, organised some power and water and all your usual fundamental things that you need. And, uh, and uh, yeah, then more recently, uh, 2010, uh, we got the winery finished so that we could do production on site. And in uh, 2012, this was the original barn that I built in 99. In 2012, yes. we had it converted and um, opened uh, as a cellar door. So yeah. that we can do our wine tastings and, and um, as a bit of a visitor experience when people turn up and want to say good day. And it is stunning. Stunning place to come so. visit. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good. It's a good view, uh, especially on a day like this. It's a nice, nice day, good weather, no wind. We always like those sorts of days. So you really started from the ground up, you had nothing out here? No, no, we couldn't even actually drive in. Uh, so wow. we had the original farm gate, which was in the middle, and uh, we had a um, you know, pretty old, rusty old car, which just about made it up here. And um, in order to get onto the property, I, um, I used to carry gravel in, the, in buckets in, in the boot of the car, uh, and just sort of put a couple of lines up the grass and then get a bit of a run up actually see how far we get wherever, wherever the car stopped that's where we'd bail out and, wow. and then go and um yeah pitch a tent or work out what we're going to do that day yeah, that's so cool. yeah so a little bit different now a little bit more progress yeah uh, but yeah there wasn't even a driveway in or anything yeah. and uh so to see what you've created here is incredible yeah it's changed has changed a lot yeah you must be really proud of it i like to think so yeah <laughs> i'm more proud of the wines actually i think they're they're starting to really form well and that's a lot of that is about vine age okay. so the um, the age of vines um, does play quite a big role mm -hmm. and uh, there were many people have you know mentioned things like well you know you start really getting serious once you get to about 10 years of vine age and then right. they start looking really good and then of course at 20 years you've got this um, sort of next uh, phase of maturity that um, and then obviously there are vineyards um, around the world with um, much older yes. vines, yeah. uh, some hundreds of years old. Wow, mm. that's insane. Um, and so, what is it that you love about wine? Well, I love drinking it. <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah. And um, especially if it's good. Yeah. And uh, you, you can you can really waste a lot of time drinking very ordinary wine and. Mm -hmm. We don't really have that much time when you really think about it. So True. yeah, life is too short to drink bad wine, as they say. And I do like wines to, um, yeah, to be, uh, reflect how they're made and where they're made. Often you can see a signature from, from the wine style, often from the winemaker as well. And uh, definitely they, most wines will reflect th their region. I think that we have a rather, interesting terroir so it's quite unique and um, we benefit a little bit from isolation so we're not quite in the mainstream like with the Yarra Valley or mm. the Gambi Lakes or further north uh, it's a little bit of a um, yeah a little hamlet around here of, 
of vineyards that, that uh, produce quite distinctive flavours and styles. And is that because of the cooler climate? Yeah, look, it, it is a, uh, a cool climate uh, region. Uh, with us, even though we're a little bit further north from the Yarra Valley, so, so we're 30 minutes north of Yarra Glen thereabouts, and um, the, the weather does change. Um, normally you would expect things to get a bit warmer the further north mm. you go. As a winemaker, what is it that inspires you about wine? Uh, so bringing out the difficult questions. <laughs> I think this is probably um, to always, well, I think it's about the next vintage. Okay. So always wanting to make that one better wine. Ah. Thinking that there are, there is that awesome, super limited reserve, reserve out there yep. waiting to be made, waiting to be grown and picked and made. Uh, and then you know that it's out there and, uh, and I guess it's sort of like you're inspired to always make better wines. Yeah. Always better than the previous years. Uh, you know, obviously we're up against a lot of you know, um, restrictions in terms of mother nature, but you do try to make the best wine you can. And I think that probably, yeah, it's that sort of drive. The challenge. The challenge, yeah, <laughs> to always like to try and make a better wine each year. And then hopefully one year one, make one of those absolute crackers. Yeah. That, that'd be, that'd be, yeah. That would be inspirational. What would, what would you say is your best year yet? Uh, we've had a few. Yeah. yeah. So 2013 was awesome in more sort of recent recollection. Uh, 2015 was also really, really good. 2006 was amazing. Okay. Uh, I still have some 2006 wow. reds, uh, which every now and then on a very special occasion we'll grab out. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah, and then in between we've had good years, and of course then we've had our run of really bad ones in the, I guess in the latter part of the um, the, the first decade of 2000s, yeah. with um, with frosts in 07, uh, fires obviously in 09, mm -hmm. and then 2010 we actually had a lot of rainfall, okay. and it was cold, and then it got warm, and the rainfall didn't go away, <laughs> and so there were mildews and um, and lots of fruit losses. And yeah. It was a disaster of a wow. year. So hence we only made I think one wine in that year. Wow. Mm. And and what's coming next? What's coming next? Um, yeah. Look, uh, uh, this year uh, I've gone for some slightly alternative viticulture in terms of pruning technique, uh, trying to reduce the crop even further, and uh, um, aiming to um, produce more reserve style wines. We we have um, we do have quite a you know a, a decent amount of inventory already over the last few years, and so we can afford to concentrate on getting it this year, like really working on getting it just right. A bit of um, you know manicuring the vineyards and getting the fruit load and everything just right uh, for just reserve styles, and then. Um, be nice if I can have a reserve and everything. It'd be really nice to have a reserve in Sangiovese one year ah, yes. because um, we have such a demand for it. Mm -hmm. We have good years and then really awesome years of Sangiovese. So it'd be nice to, to um, get something extra special um, from there. Wow, yeah. lots to look forward to. Yeah, it's, it's always good fun. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I retired <laughs> you know, when I, you know, we started doing this and, and, and started making wine here in 2010. Um, it, it's great to, to sort of, you know, come here to work uh, rather than where I was going to work before, which was really felt like a job. Yeah. Um, this doesn't feel like a job. I'm having too much fun. Yeah. So this vineyard here, that's our new Sanchevese vineyard. And um, with a bit of, bit of luck, we might get a bit of fruit already next uh, 2020 harvest. So we're hoping really that this vineyard might give us the fruit quality to produce a reserve one day. So young, young shoots and um, it's hard to imagine but in, in a few weeks time they'll be up here. Wow. Yeah. 